Hello, beta testers. I won't mince words. The agenda is as blatantly apparent just looking at Mary Jane as it is hearing verbatim the intent for the younglings from Disney groomers. I think the pandering is pathetic. I think community managers blocking people highlighting a backlash that they're ignoring unprofessional. I think calling people terrorist because of their critique, especially in the current climate, is where the hell are your meds, tier psycho, obviously. I do not condone or encourage anyone reaching out to communicate or interact with these mm, jobs. But maybe, just maybe, if community manager is your title, Blocking people highlighting the backlash from hundreds of thousands of people on Mary Jane's appearance should fall well under the umbrella of what it is your job to do. Furthermore, James, with your giant peach, you did it before. So why are you quiet now? That's how I found this dude. Because of the articles when he addressed the backlash during the first wave of repulsion beta tester. Even if you're watching this on TV, however you're watching, please, I'm asking you, take the time to like and comment on this video so that this community can get what it deserves to grow. I endeavor to showcase ways they silence you to highlight how little you mean unless you're either a paid shill or are willing to be their token ethnic. Please consider this a part two to this video where I summarize the explosively vocal sentiment from fans. And if you were out there making your voices heard, I thank you as well for the constructive feedback that I witnessed without needing to provoke it. I find the more the Middle East needs to tell me that it's fine. The more I know, it's not fine. Two months ago, during Blobfish Grand Mary Jane's first wave of repulsive backlash, mainstream games journalists were quick to tell people that it's fine and to calm down. Articles were made parroting the message of this entity with respect to the pronouns that I can't see too well because they blocked me, community manager, in their response to the backlash where they were forced, Larry Fink style, to tell people that it's the same model and the same actress. Excellent. Beta testers, now we know that since this woman, even with 10 years and maybe 40 extra pounds, would not look like this, we're aware that they deliberately just ESG stained, DEI smeared, a ugly design on this woman. And if you've been paying attention, I take considerable issue with the erosion of art. I retweeted this man's backlash response, assuring people that it's the same person and was promptly blocked. Okay. I don't appreciate this treatment as a supporter, but just like how Bungie hides the comments from Latinos while pandering to the Latinx, exactly like Insomniac does, I know that these groups are full of it. It being shit. Rocksteady of the upcoming Always Online Sushi Squad live service blocked me too for cobbling together what is effortlessly the most thorough documentation of community sentiment on people's issues, concerns, and criticisms surrounding the game holding Kevin Conroy's last Batman performance hostage. But this person is entitled to block whomever they wish in whatever capacity they consider professional when something is, quote, too much. I happen to think 50 million views, only 7,000 likes, and 400,000 plus likes on quote retweets tearing Mary Jane's uncanny ass to shreds is, quote, too much for no response. But here we are. And what I'd like to call your attention to is how silent the publications are, specifically on this. The same publications who hypocritically praise scantily clad men, but women scantily clad, that's objectification. Men, we could never complain because we're not weak. <laughs> and the women aren't weak either. Because no matter how hard and how long woke declares something, it doesn't make it true with all that soy all over your 
your bib. These people are addicted to rage bait and allergic to not having attention for four minutes and you're telling me hilariously they're just happening to be silent? As the AI shadow looms over them. So, I fixed it. It only took a few words. Put the two of these in front of people and most of them easily will choose the pretty one. So I remind you, beta tester, that's exactly what they seek to rob you of. Choice. In a time where even mods making women pretty will soon be banned. Mark my words. But in the interest of clarity, I would like to read the short thread that I posted that resulted in the Insomniac Spider-Man 2 Community Manager blocking me. Over 40 million views with 7,000 likes, but over 300,000, it's grown considerably since then, in the quote retweets rejecting another deliberately ugly woman in western video games. Mary Jane is now Meaty Jowls, the bloated blobfish beasting victim because Latin X panderers hate beauty. Retweeting this, I write, when you have to say it. Your Spider-Man voice actor is so annoyed by the face change conversation that they're telling fans to get over it. And now, Mary Jane is so far removed that both sides are impressed Insomniac made her this repulsive. Maybe she's pregnant in just her face? Mary Jane looks like black men in white woman face in White Chicks and bloated Jennifer Lawrence in X-Men First Class. You're better, Insomniac Games. Block like Rocksteady or hide like Bungie, but you're pulling a Witcher deliberately ugly. Referencing, of course, the casting director of The Witcher deliberately deciding to challenge beauty standards with their casting. I continue, the sickening part is Insomniac would never do this to a black woman. Same hypocrisy, bigotry, and intolerance you claim to oppose. Textbook inequality, but I'm meant to believe that you can tackle an X-Men slash Wolverine game? You fight fans, as Avengers, Saints Row, and Mortal Kombat did. Spider-Man can confidently swing in his literal underwear, jacked physique. But Black Cat must be fully hijabbed and flattened curves, super fitting of an athletic woman? Attractive women are not unrealistic. Ugly Mary Jane does not make people suddenly pass Insomniac Games. And pretty Mary Jane in no way diminishes others. It was at this point that they blocked me. And now, beta tester, I ask you, tell me why. I reiterate this decision is polarizing, divisive, and exactly the kind of click-generating game journalist rage garbage that they eat, sleep with, and breathe in yet. They are silent. It's almost like it's not the approved opinion, huh? And if you think it's a not that big a deal to them scenario, <laughs> the creatives who speak to me in confidence that are forced to remain silent lest they lose their jobs tell a very different story. Suddenly my eyes functioning makes me a tyrant again, fine. But from my position, the disingenuous puppeteering of people too young and stupid to understand that they're being used as props, specifically because they're grown-ass people, diehard fans available and more than willing to just bend over for whatever you want to shove up there without any lube. You know, I'm willing to bet that there's over 10 different flags and murals in your fucking game this time, right? But communication for a community manager, too hard. It is Marvel's Avengers all over again. That's wild. In my humble opinion, it is not too much to ask in the end the more this is forced the more it'll train people to recognize resist and choose lest you try to take that choice away from them spider-man 2 you are entertainment and the specific downgrades of exclusively women reinforce the divide we see in the world today. You know damn well what I'm talking about over there. 
Parker is an everyman. I didn't need him to be black to identify with him. And maybe a girl that Peter considers way out of his league but is somehow interested in him is something to relate or aspire to, but you've made Mary Jane an ignorant s nuisance. <laughs> no doubt, because to you, she's just a cisgender redhead white woman, and you'd much prefer to swap her out with the darker model, right? Maybe Deborah Wilson can play her? I take the time to fight for art because it matters to me more than any loser spending time thinking about me throwing names my way. No, you know, it's never going to make me stop. And in some people's cases, it'll make them louder than they'd ever been before. Beta tester, I'm genuinely asking each of you to like and share your opinion on what I tweeted and why that made it so, you know, this needed to happen. Is it aggressive, rude, cruel, or have you been on the internet for more than a day? <laughs> Taking a position like community manager to be banning people when they're retweeting something you said. That's what I'm talking about. Patrons, thank you for your support. I humbly apologize for my volume this video, but I want to thank you endlessly for investing the money that you earn into me so that I have the privilege of turning it around and creating something. Because I'm guessing that were you not to fulfill your obligations outlined in your job description at your job, that you might be disciplined, if not potentially terminated. And that is the difference between us and them.